After record-level flooding in Thailand, health experts are warning of outbreaks of disease, and authorities continue to divert millions of cubic meters of water towards the Gulf of Thailand. Medical authorities are particularly concerned for communities that have been inundated with fetid water for several weeks and mounting problems of waste and rubbish disposal. FSRN's Ron Corbin reports. As Thailand's flood disaster stretches into weeks, with communities left inundated, medical authorities say the government must take action against disease outbreaks, as water is becoming increasingly polluted. Marilyn Goh, the public health emergencies head with the Asian Disaster Preparedness Centre, says communities face the threat of a range of diseases from the fetid, polluted water. And also for the waterborne diseases, it will be common, and acute diarrhoea, And E. coli or cholera will be the most common type, as well as food poisoning and typhoid fever. This diarrhea can occur any time during the disaster. Thailand's floods, the most severe in 50 years, have strained recovery and support efforts throughout the affected communities, largely in the central plains bordering the capital, Bangkok. More than 530 have been killed and 3 million people are affected. Thailand's Ministry of Health has already warned people, especially women, that water contaminated by animal urine may lead to leptospirosis, which causes fever, headache, nausea and vomiting, and can lead to more serious health problems. Rekha Hanvesakun, a doctor at Bangkok's B&H Hospital, says the public health system faces a major challenge. Um, definitely a big challenge um, because of the quantity or mass of water that's coming through. And uh, I don't think we've ever had um, to deal with such uh, large amounts of water. Because if it's one or two days, I think a lot of people can can kind of manage or, or deal mm-hmm. with this. Mm-hmm. But because this is, I mean, because the quantity or the mass of water is so huge and uh, and you, and a lot of people are exposed or living under these conditions for long periods of time, this disease becomes a major issue. Thai health officials from the Disease Control Department have downplayed the concerns, saying that while there had been some cases of communicable diseases detected during flood relief efforts, they pose no threat to the wider community. Somsak Chumaras, Secretary General of the National Health Foundation said while the Ministry of Public Health was doing a good job because of its disease surveillance network, concerns remain over the outlook. Friendly speaking, yeah. for the time being, the greatest concern in terms of health is sanitation and environment. And we are anticipating you know, stagnate water for about a month and the water is polluting very quickly in Bangkok. Dr. Somsak says officials in Bangkok are still assessing the extent of the threat to people's health. While few cases of leptospirosis have been reported, fears are held of growing numbers of cases once flood waters recede. Influenza is also a growing problem. Health authorities have also seen increased evidence of food poisoning, with up to 200 new cases of diarrhoea being reported each day. There have been 100,000 fungal infections, as well as those resulting from people being injured or cut while in the water. Ron Corbin, FSRN, Bangkok.